Welcome to the first section dissection of this channel, where we will look at a small section of a scene or sliver of a movie or anime, and explain why it's brilliant, and even enjoyable without context, and how it might serve to engross you in the greater context of the film or series it's from. For the very first section dissection, the very first scene we will be exploring in this new segment will be the famous wyvern scene from the Pat Labor 2 movie. A scene which I consider to be one of the most masterful exercises in suspense and sound design I've ever seen. A scene which sticks to me to this very day, and I can, and often do, watch for hours on end looped. Not not literal hours, but like, I, I have watched it for at least half an hour straight. Anyways, when watching this scene, note how the music mirrors the atmosphere perfectly. Note how it conveys the mood and tension to us. Just remember that as we go through this scene. Now, in keeping with the theme of section dissection, I won't go too much over context here, but I will provide a bare minimum. Now, the bare minimum is that this scene occurs about halfway into the movie, which is a political suspense thriller commentary, which examines Japan's place in the Cold War, and how true it was and is to its pacifist policies and ideals following World War II. One of the key ideas is how the truth is often hidden from the public, in order to maintain order and a facade of ideals, of just how shady politics and policy can really be. With that out of the way, we cut to... Boom! Suspenseful opening, caused by an extreme escalation born of both high stakes and confusion. This of course confuses the viewer and forces them into the scene at full force, immediately gripping them. This confusion is caused by the introduction of the mysterious wyvern and the confusion at their control, as no one seems to know what is happening. But, nonetheless, wizard and priest head to intercept wyvern. The music is still low, as everything is tense, but seemingly under control. Everything seems like it will be resolved still. Everything is still in control. Wyvern is to be intercepted, and all is well, even if it may not seem so. The music grinds on, slowly in the background, pulsing, moving us forward. But as a bomb diffuser must know his craft, and we must trust him. We must also trust that air control knows their craft, and will win this high-stakes game. A game they have to win. And they seem to know how to. They're playing all the right cards. Light Violin enters the soundtrack, as Wizard seems to be on top of Wyvern giving hope that Wizard is in control and will soon down Wyvern and end the threat it posts. The robotic tone of Trevor and Wizard juxtapose the tense and electric atmosphere as Wizard flies, essentially blind, not seeing Wyvern even though he's supposed to be right on top of him. The open and free nature of the sky and flight itself conflict with the choking and claustrophobic air of suspense and fear caused by the unknown. It gets more tense as no one knows where Wyvern is or is from. Is this an enemy from within or from without? A system error or a deliberate action? A confused man or a traitor. The facade of control falls apart, however, as connection the wizard is lost, and the music grows harsh as everyone panics. The cat is out of the bag. No one knows anything. No one knows what's happening. Wyvern changes heading and is clearly in control now. Note the lights over the airport. Note how they streak across the sky, seemingly unopposed. Cut to the civilians in the airport showing that the average man is affected by what happens in the shadows, and some are smart enough to know that something is wrong and that this bothers him. Two lights fly over the airport, but isn't Wyvern a squadron of three? More panic, it's up to the priest who has now cleared the fire. He has to, he is the only one that can stop Wyvern, even if no one knows who or what Wyvern is, they know it's dangerous. However, as Priesto is about to fire, he almost kills Wizard. You see, Wyvern disappears, and everything is normal again. Wyvern was fake, as a sudden de-escalation occurs. I would not consider this an anticlimax, though, as it is instead a deeply haunting and, en and engrosses the viewer. It is as if the Phantom Menace of Wyvern was there the whole time, and it had enough power to cause such an incident. If the Phantom Menace behind the Wyvern incident had enough power to do so, just imagine what kind of damage they could have caused if actually aiming to do harm. Note how in the end, the last line still reflects the confusion of everything, the unknown, and the confusion of everyone around, as it is in order for clarification in order for knowledge to illuminate the pilot in the unknown. Cut to the wrap-up scene in the aquarium. An interesting and meaningful setting. Like the fish in an aquarium, the average population is contained and held down by their lack of information, as those who know look in, but are powerless to interact with the fish as they contemplate how to move on and try to help everyone. Well, I hope this has pointed out how suspenseful the scene was. Although, you'd have to watch it yourself to do justice. Though, there are a few more things I want to know. Some subtle points of the scene. Note how Wyvern is called Wyvern, a fierce but mythical beast, and note how it's intercepted by both Wizard and Priest, representatives of two groups who historically were tasked with fighting fear of the unknown, of explaining the world to people. Those beings were magic and religion. Note how in the end, they both ultimately fail to kill Wyvern, as it doesn't actually exist, showing that often the unknown is a phantom enemy, one that is always with you, but one that you cannot fully conquer. 
that the greatest fear is that of the unknown, and that it can, and does at times, consume all. That the greatest threats can come from within, and even if not physical, push people to the extreme. That often the institutions of man can grow beyond their control and comprehension, as the men that created them are now swamped by what they have created, as these bodies expand beyond the scope of individual comprehension. How man can never hope to know the entirety of even a single thing, and how the fear of the unknown will always lurk in his heart.